Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to work on her uh, sleeve today. And I've got it on my LG screen here. The first thing I'm going to do is do the cuff around her wrist. And it looks like it was wrinkled naturally because, you know, it couldn't possibly be perfectly pressed. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through my pasta machine and then put it so I have an even thickness. Okay, this, this cuff on her dress would uh, be buttoned underneath her wrist, and so it won't show a button on it. So I'm going to just wrap this around the wrist. There we go. I'll come back and detail that wrist part of the uh, cuff later. But right now I'm just going to start doing the sleeve. It's roomy, but it's not all that roomy. And so I'm going to uh, try to do the best I can on that. All right, I ran a piece of clay through the uh, pasta machine again. And uh, I'm reflecting a little feature on the dress where it actually sits away from the uh, shoulder, sorting, sort of uh, setting it apart from the shoulder. Now you see why I did the uh, wrinkles ahead of time. And because uh, it'd be almost impossible to uh, do it once you uh, get that feature on. I'm going to stuff some clay up inside there because I can't have that deep uh, undercut. I'm going to try to shape it to the uh, cavity. There we go. You take a clay into a, a boundary and you make it difficult for the uh, mold maker. You'll see him tearing his hair out when he sees something with deep in undercuts. And you don't want to see your mold maker tearing his hair out. Ever. <laughs> Alright, uh, I just finished putting final details in her hair. I made the bottom part of her hair where it folds over and that look a little more detailed than the main body of her hair and that's done for a reason I want to show that this is looser than this is and I've also added a few strands of hair uh, because she would not be perfectly coiffed on the prairie she would have loose hair because of wind and dryness and everything else now I'm going to start on his hair and uh, not sure quite how I'm going to do his hair yet so I've got a little bit of thinking to do on that and I'm going to get started on it right now I really do apologize for not showing you all of the uh, techniques that I'm using but the technique I use to make this hair look like that 
Well, let me put it this way. It's the first time in over 50 years of sculpting that I took used this technique, and it was a complete experiment, and it worked beautifully. So I'll uh, leave it at that. That's what you get when you buy my instructional videos. You get things that I've come, you know, may have taken me 50 years to figure out, but I figured them out. All right, I'm going to get busy on his beard and on his hair. All right, I've just started doing his hair, and I'm going all the way around. His head I haven't got all the way around yet, but I'm liking the way it's coming out. And then i got to do beard texture as well. So I'm going to continue working on this, and I'll uh, be right back. I'm going to take some bron uh, Ronsonol and uh, finish off the hair with a uh, brush. If I can find what I do with it, there it is right there. And uh, this will be the last thing I do today. This just takes the roughness of the uh, sculpting down just a little bit and makes it a little smoother. It, uh, it tends to fill in a little bit of the uh, heavy duty crevices that I created in uh, doing this. I have the texturing of his beard to do next and I'll do that uh, in my next session. But this is just to finish up his hair for now. I've got a lot of work to do on his skin to get that uh, where I like it. And uh, some work on wrinkles in his clothing. And uh, I'll do that next time. I got some holes to fill in like that one there. Gotta work on her skin a little bit. I finished up her sleeve today. Still got a little work to do on it, but I like the way it's coming out. This just puts a finishing touch on that, what I've done so far. And uh, I'll come back and work that a little bit more. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.